a life in this world. On this earth, Allah produced us. Allah created us. So he gave birth to us here in this world for a reason only he knows. We need to explore that reason. So first right is right to life. The second right Allah gave us is the right to choose. We have a choice to make. Right? Allah has given us the complete constitution, the curriculum, and a teacher, but we are given the right to choose. That's our second right. The third right is the right to be respected. And Allah's slave. We are nobody's slave. Nobody can cage us. Nobody can disrespect us. Nobody can insult us because only Allah holds the power of respect and disrespect. Right? Respect and insult. It, Allah holds power for that. So nobody can do that for us. Unless we allow people to do so, right? So only Allah holds this power. So these are the three most important rights that every mom, mom should know and memorize and also instill these things in our children, boys and girls, both. So nobody should be able to or allowed to hurt you, take your life away, kill you, let alone, right? And nobody should be able to make choices for you as Allah's slave because Allah gave you a constitution. Allah gave you Quran as the constitution. That's the constitution of a Muslim's life, right? Or every person's life, right? And then Allah gave us a teacher to follow, to, you know, completely describe the Quran, right? By the way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed it, right? And the third choice, as I said, uh, right, is respect. We cannot and should not be pleasing anybody but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because Allah gave us this right only towards Him. We should be respected and we should demand, we should expect to be respected as Allah's slave. Right? I'm not my husband's slave. I'm not. I'm not my kid's slave. I'm not. I'm not my parents' slave. I'm not. Parents are not God. I am. Allah's slave and he is the only God that I submit to and obey to. I'm obeying my parents because I want to obey Allah through that and to please Allah. I'm obeying my husband because Allah gave him that one level up as my qawwamun, as my uh, caretaker or maintainer by the will of Allah, by the command of Allah, right? I'm taking care of my kids. I'm taking care of their needs i'm actually giving more time and my life and my effort to my kids because they are entrusted to me by uh, by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as an amana and allah has commanded me to take care of them regardless of what what my husband does it's my responsibility because i'm only mm -hmm. accountable to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah will ask me questions if i did not raise allah submitting slaves as a mother if I actually did not do my job right as a mother, Allah will question me. What did you do? Were you a party butterfly or a social butterfly? Were you partying or dancing the whole night out? Right? Or you were actually focused on your child to develop the perfect character in your child. So they can become Allah's slave, the best slaves of Allah on this earth because they are entrusted to you as an imana. Right? And then those three rights are given to us with obligations. We have to only and only submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are only supposed to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are only supposed to actually follow what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guided us with. Right? Allah is the only king. He is the only sovereign. He is the only person. He is the only being that we are actually uh, turned towards for any need. And then his messenger was given to us as a teacher describing Quran, translating Quran to us, translating Allah's commands to us. And then he also left his legacy in the form of his surah, sirah, right? So he did not actually live the Quran, but he actually left examples for us by actually giving us statements we call hadith, right? Ehkamat, right? We call hadith. And that's his sunnah that we follow, right? as we submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this full package, right, with the freedom to choose. We have heard about this freedom, uh, you know, free will and all that, right? We are also given that free will, as I said, right to choose. So free will is there. I can choose to walk naked on, this, on, this, on the road. I can. I have a choice. But there will be consequences. Because I'm forbidden to do so in that constitution I call Quran. Right? I can choose to uncover. I can choose to not obey my husband. I can choose to be a feminist saying, you know what? I'm not less than you because I'm a free woman. But there will be consequences because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him that level up. With extra layers of responsibility towards me and my kids. 
he is given that one level up with Allah's wisdom by giving him much more responsibility than me. I'm only supposed to take care of my kids, nurture them, protect their iman by giving them role modeling and open discussion, opportunities, environment, and then making dua for them. I have to protect my chastity, right? I have to protect the environment or the house that my husband gives me, right? I'm not obligated to go out and earn money. No, he is. If I choose to do so, wonderful. But I have a choice, not an obligation. He does. He is obligated to provide for me and my kids. He is obligated to provide everything, the shelter, the safety, right? The environment, the house, everything is his responsibility. But because he's, he has given more responsibility,